Hi, welcome to episode 51 of the podcast. Today I'm going to talk about why do we sometimes find it hard to obey God, whether it's a specific instruction that comes from God or just like a general instruction from the Bible that God has given us. Why is it hard sometimes? So when I talk about like obedience being hard, I don't mean like in the moments where it's like, you know you so do it where you're like god i don't really want to do this like there was one time where god asked me to introduce myself to my ne- my neighbors and i was like i don't want to do this but then like i knew i was going to anyways and so i still did it but i'm, I'm talking about when it's like something that you absolutely do not want to do because you're like what if i fail what if this what if that for whatever reason you know that like the chances of you doing this is low and you're just struggling with wanting to do it why why does that happen sometimes and one time I was thinking about this. I was just, I don't think I was thinking about it. I was just praying or whatever. I was, I don't know what was happening, but somehow I just had this thought about why this happens sometimes. A lot of people will reference that verse where it just says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. And most times we interpret it as a warning or like a stern thing, like just accusing you that you don't obey him because you don't love him and stuff like that. But I think that maybe it's not that, that's not how Jesus meant it. I think maybe he meant it more like, because like out of the expression or the depth of your love for me you will obey my commands like it's more of a the cause is you love and then the what happens because of that love is obedience it's not a warning or a fight it's more like you need to love me you need to learn to love me you need to grow to love me to be able to obey my commands and so the reason why sometimes we struggle with this is we don't actually love god we may say we do um but sometimes like in some particular instances and moments it it doesn't and um it's also a thing about trust right we're very familiar with this concept of trust and obey and there's that hymn trust and obey but there's no other way to be happy in jesus but to trust and obey and trust, trusting and obedience go hand in hand. If you're a Nigerian and you're familiar with Super Story, you may have seen this um, clip from Super Story where a father is telling his son to jump off a roof and he's like, jump, I'll catch you. And the boy is like, I don't want to, I'll break my leg or something. And then the father is like, jump, I'll catch you. And he jumps and his father doesn't catch him and his father goes this is your first lesson in life never trust anybody not even me your father the reason why the boy jumped is because he trusted his father to catch him but his father didn't and that's not how god is by the way but that's what causes the difficulty that we have sometimes in obeying god is a lack of trust I wrote on my Instagram many, many moons ago a post about this. And it's like the reason we don't obey God is because we don't trust God. We can say that we trust God, but our actions don't match that. So think about when God instructed Joshua and the Israelites to march around the city seven times um, uh, for seven days. And then on the seventh day, seven times, they shouldn't attack it or anything. They should just march around. And for you to be able to do that, you have to trust that you're not going to look like a fool. <laughs> like at the end, in the moment, you may look like a fool. But at the end, you want to trust that if you do this thing, I actually wouldn't fall flat on my face. And I wouldn't be like foolish to, to the eyes of everybody, right? At the end of the day. Because in the moment, you obviously look foolish. <laughs> but there's this trust that if I do this thing, even though it looks foolish now, it will add up in the end. And the same thing with Gideon when he had the 32,000 men and God said, oh, these people are too much and you need to let let them go on until he got to 300 people, right? The only way you can do such things and take acts of obedience, steps of faith, those kinds of things, is when you trust God to do what he has said he would do. Isaac as well in in the famine and he wanted to move and God says, don't go anywhere, stay where you are. And um, yeah. And we see that the reverse of it with Abraham and Sarah, when Sarah was telling Abraham that, oh, maybe we should, you should have a child through Hagar, my maid, and then that will be counted as my child as well. And it's a thing of the trust in God in that moment to be able to do what he had said he would do, wavered a bit. And that is what led to them trying a different way to um, 
have a child. And so it's not that obeying God is especially easy. There are, there are times we'll struggle, honestly. Like, because of things God will ask you to do, it will make you feel like you may look foolish or it will feel like you don't have the, the strength to do it or it seems hard or difficult, especially the quote-unquote ridiculous things. But when we have an understanding of or trust in God about who he is and what he's able to do, then we're more likely to be able to go ahead and do whatever he has asked of us to do so and it's possible to trust god in one area and not trust him in another area so you can trust god that oh he will daily provide for you but maybe you don't trust him that you will not be emotionally hurt by someone else right you may trust god that he can heal but maybe you don't trust that he can provide for you right and it's because you don't know god in that way so you can't trust someone you don't know you 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 can't obey someone you don't trust and you can't trust someone you don't know so the way to solve the problem of why is it hard for me to obey god in this matter is to know who god is in that area and it's not just by reading the bible it's by actually talking to god and having a relationship with him to know who he is and to see how you have experienced him in the past when you reflect on that and you see all the ways that you have seen him in the past then you will be able to trust that he's able to do whatever other thing that is ahead of you to take care of whatever need that is in front of you or whatever situation that you're facing or follow through whatever instruction that he's giving you and you can trust him and then you can live in obedience in that way so yeah I hope this has been helpful in some way and I pray that whatever area that you're struggling with to obey God in, I pray that God will give you grace and that as you go to him, to speak to him, to break this fear, whatever fear or anxieties that you have around obeying him, as you go to him, to break all of that down before him, that he will give you peace in your mind and that you will be able to move forward in the direction in which he's calling you to. I have also had times where god asked me to do something or not do something and i went ahead to to do the thing that he told me not to do because i didn't trust him enough in that moment to be able to deliver on what he had said and it was a learning experience for me thank god for his mercies and thank god that he he draws us near to him even when we misbehave and he's always willing and ready to accept us so if there are things where you you feel like you should have done things differently or you didn't obey god you didn't do what he said you should do or you did what he told you not to do or you did things that you knew you should not have done because you were afraid of something or you didn't trust god to show up for you i also pray for you that you will be free from the you'll be free from the bondage of the lies of satan telling you that god is disappointed in you or doesn't want to have any relationship with you because of this one thing that you did or whether it's even 10 things no matter what it is i pray that you will find the courage to run towards god and confess your mistakes and receive his forgiveness and his healing and be reunited with him in jesus name bye a quick reminder that i am accepting questions for the podcast if you have any questions that you like me to cover any things that you like me to talk about please fill the form i'm going to put the question form in the show notes so yeah bye thank you for joining me on today's episode of a couple of things if you enjoyed this episode or found any part of it insightful don't forget to share with your friends on your social media and be sure to leave a comment or a review if you can on your podcast listening app Thank you.